Yo. Uh, what is shaking? Uh, Miss Mio Next. and uh, Wyra, what's going on? Uh, let me see. Never gonna let you down. Desert you. <clears throat> All right. Sounds like the audio is working. May have been stalking the channel. I may have noticed. Dicks are shaking. Yeah, apparently. <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, yeah, that's the fastest host I've ever seen. That was crazy. Uh, so yeah, this is the game that we're playing. Uh, we're also going to rock some stream raiders. We've actually had a lot of people um, in our stream raiders battles lately. So uh, that's been a lot of fun. Uh, let's get some loyalty chests. <clears throat> So what we're playing tonight is, uh, oh shit, thank you so much for the host as well, Miss Mio, I appreciate that. Um, so yeah, what we're playing tonight is uh, Octodad, which from what I understand is one of those kind of games that's like a clusterfuck to control. Desert Away, thank you for the host. Holy crap, we've been live for literally two and a half minutes and we've got three folks hosting. Um, the Stream Raiders battle. If you if you like, you can you can click that stream captain uh, link and you can get involved in the battle. Um, we've reached a point now where we we've got like a lot of people who have been engaging in our fights, which is really awesome. Uh, in our in our uh, in our battles, and the nice thing about that is, if we up our average viewership a bit more, um, we can start making skins for our units in the game. So um, yeah, that'd be super exciting. I'm I'm looking forward to that. Um, so I'll fire this battle off in a half hour once we've got a, a game hopefully full of folks. And until then, let us Octodad. <clears throat> hey, sweetie pie. Someone's been very, very fussy today, so she's probably not in the best of moods right now. <laughs> Hi. Yeah, how, uh, how's everyone doing this evening? What's shaking? I just realized with the uh, with the three of you here and uh, Sonnet and Callista also uh, watching over my shoulder, we actually have uh, exclusively uh, females watching and five of them, which is uh, <laughs> quite the uh, quite the ratio. <clears throat> it's kind of funny. Oh, your back is sore. That sucks. That's the worst. Being sore is one of my least favorite things. Uh, so I accidentally started a game while I was uh, trying to fuck with the settings. Um, usually if you hold alt and press enter in a game, uh, it takes it off of full screen, um, but it didn't with this game. So instead, of, I guess it just pressed enter on new game. Uh, so I've seen the first uh, probably two thirds of a second of this game. I broke in earlier and helped a little. Well, that's good. Oh, that reminds me. I, I've been uh, taking... Uh, like multivitamins each day just to help supplement me uh, a little bit uh, with dinner and um, I didn't take it either today so that kind of sucks oh well fortunately I haven't had to take ibuprofen in quite a few days now which is nice but that is unfortunately a regular part of my my diet as well <clears throat> oh it's just <laughs> There you are. Hey. 14 months. Baby message. Do. Thank you, sweetie, so much for the 14 months of support. Super appreciated. Um. Let's turn off the. Is it an audio? Oh, okay. Turn off the black box. Other than around the subtitles, it's a little bit stark. The alert was off center. Uh, was it? Oh, I can't remove my fucking mouse off this game. Um. Have you come unhinged? Are the alerts off center? It looks like they're dead center. I could be wrong. Maybe it looks off center because there's, uh, this sort of banner along the right side of the game. It makes things look like they're what fucked? Hey, relinquished. What's shaking? Uh, yeah, yeah. I, I posted in the Discord that I was gonna start a little early. And, uh... <clears throat> I'm 
The sub one from Sonnet was off center. Hmm. I don't know. Mr. Groom, the wedding is starting. Are you ready? <gasps> You're not even dressed. Make yourself presentable. Hang on a sec. I'm, I'm just going to turn up the audio filters a little bit so that folks don't have to hear lebabs. Let me know if you can't, like, hear me uh, with my noise gate. Stopping it a little bit. I'm looking into a full plate mail. Oh, in Diablo. I thought you were talking about in real life. I was thinking that seems like a pretty legit thing to pick up. Clear that table. Uh, so the left stick controls my arm. Okay, that's pretty straightforward. Remove the cushions. Uh, use the right bumper or A button to grab. Press again to drop. Okay, this is this is super straightforward. Unlock cabinet using key. Move the right stick up and down to raise or lower your arm. Whoa. <laughs> oh my god. This is fucking crazy. Oh, easy peasy. Easy every time. Was that supposed to happen? Holding the right trigger will gradually raise your right leg. <laughs> wow. Holding the left trigger will gradually raise your right leg. Oh, man. Go out the door. Okay. Okay. Easy every time. This is fucking... This is no problem. Nope. Didn't want to pick up a vase. Hang on. Oh, ties are collectibles? Oh, this is fucking walking super easy. Controlling the arm, that's the hard part. Oh, luckily you, you kind of like attach, oh, you attach to the arm or to the, to the uh, interactables from pretty far away. That's good. Find and wear your tux. My God. Of course, ties are collectible. I mean, he is a dad after all. So am I trying not to fucking completely trash this place? <laughs> uh, whoops. Those balloons were probably for later. Oh, what's the sign say? Dressing room here. Oh, okay. That's going to be where my tux is. Oh, pff, easy. This fucking game, we're going to destroy it. This is, uh, these controls are fucking wild. Oh my god, we're booking it! Look at this momentum! Can't stop, won't stop. Oh yeah. This is great. I'm fucking... Oh, I, I, there should be, like, a track and field version of this game. Easy, easy, easy. Find your bow tie. Oh my god, I can't get through the door. Anything in this direction? There's another door there. Uh, okay. Oh shit. Oh, the doorknobs just came off. Uh, okay. I'll pretend I didn't do that. Wow. This is crazy. <laughs> the fucking... <laughs> the banana peels actually make you slip. 
That's ridiculous. Uh, I'm fine. Thank you. Let go of an object while moving your arm. A hurl object. Okay. That makes sense. Put on the bow tie. Go. Hey. Right. We passed the hall door. I wonder which one it's talking about. Okay, so places I'm not supposed to go, the fucking doorknobs just come off. That's good to know. No, I'm fine. Either of those are interactable. Formal attire only. Trying to move this fucking sign. Oh, okay, never mind. You have gifts here. Well, you can just fucking plow through the doors. Nice. Hang on. Hang on a sec. Oh, come on. We can get this hat on. There we go. Oh, fuck yeah. Now we're dapper. Walk down the aisle safely. People are watching. If you make a mess, they'll get too suspicious of you. Too much suspicion and you'll get caught. Oh, we're pretending we're not an octopus. Uh oh. Looking for a drink in that vase. Octodad's such a silly game. It's pretty ridiculous. Pretty ridiculous. How did Scarlet make it down the aisle without slipping? In those heels? I wonder. So oh yeah. <laughs> Fucking no problem. The best man. Guess you'll have to get the ring yourself. Uh I wonder where the ring is. Oh, it's like hidden in there. Oh, pff, that was easy. Then give her the ring. All right. All right. Any help over there? Start in the hall, get a nice steady pace going, yeah. Oh, hang on, there we go. So handsome. There we go. <laughs> yeah, just roll on through, right? You know? I figure enough momentum and I'd be fine. It, it, it kind of worked. So does she not know he's an octodad? Or an octopus, I should say. But if he's a dad, then she must know, right? You may now punch your pride. I like the music. The uh, the song's pretty good. Wow, this is amazing. You can really get like a real. You can get surprisingly uh, surprisingly good control over them in some ways. This is fucking great. Game's the derpiest shit ever. I love it. <laughs> this game's wild. I'm enjoying it.
Okay. On a sec. Just gonna, I'm gonna lower the noise gate again a little bit. See if maybe, there we go. I think, I think my voice was getting cut off a tiny bit. Get to the chopper. Get to the kitchen. Why are their kids normal looking? Can I get dressed? Doesn't seem like it. Oh, I'm stuck on a drawer. There we go. There we go. Whoops. Oh my fucking god. Okay. I love how doors you can't go through, the doorknobs just come off. Oh my god. You have to avoid suspicion from your own children? God, I can't. There we go. Your mustache is getting long again. My this is fucking ridiculous. <laughs> They're normal looking because you're not the real dad. Oh Jesus! Didn't even occur to me. <laughs> Honey, did you read my latest article? I got an interview with the mayor, and I tore him apart verbally. I mean, in a way, it's good the basement flooded. You've spent so much more time with us lately. The basement. Oh, do I have to like... I, I don't know how coffee makers work. Do I have to pour water into them or something? What do I fill with water? Oh. Working on a little side project, dear. I'm going to expose corruption in the fishing industry, and I know just the shit to sneak aboard. I guess there's just already water in it. That never stopped me before. Uh, bring milk you know, from the book club? jug I to Stacy. wedding cake, and nobody was getting married. I guess I can't drink. <laughs> Worth a try. So I was stargazing last night while you were off in your man cave, and I snapped a picture of some strange lights. It's probably just a satellite or a lens flare, but you know, what if it wasn't? Some strange lights. Is that foreshadowing? And they put it on the cover. You should pick one up, dear. Well, I can't be caught reading it. Are there aliens? In this game. Dad, where do rainbows come from? Oops. Thanks for the milk, Dad. Soon my bones will be made of steel. Your coffee is ready, sweetie. Soon my bones will be made of steel. Just a reminder. Two weeks from now, I'll be out of town. I made your coffee just the way you like it. Sea salt and tartar sauce. Ugh. I need you to take care of some chores in the backyard while I get some work done. There's grass to mow, weeds to pull, wood to chop, and don't forget Ooh. to make burgers for lunch. Okay. Dad, are hamburgers really Ooh. made out of ham? Oh. What if they were made from ponies? <gasps> oh, it's oh my such gosh. a beautiful day today. Blah. The oh, this is gonna burn. Shining, the birds are singing. The worms are wiggling. Yes, even worms are happy to be outside today. Oh, we're fucking nailing this. Birds are so strange. 
Father of the year here. Do octopuses have bones? I don't think so. Oh, come on. No, no, no. Oh, fucking nailed it. That's two. One a little bit more well done than the other. Bankruptcy since opening in 1960. Two directors in the last year. Yikes. I even flipped it. Weed the garden. Oh my god. Maybe <laughs> if you rub long enough. <laughs> no! Oh, my flowers! I heard if one of those seeds gets in your ear, it'll make a weed grow out of the top of your head. That can't be true. Oh man. Dude, throwing shit's hard. There we go. There we go. There we go. Whip that fucking thing out of there. Ah, oh, shit. Stomping the crap out of this garden. Okay, hang on. There we go. Oh man, we are crushing this. There we go. Fucking whip them into traffic. They have a hard beak. Uh, that's true. Yeah. Is there... What's their beak made of, though? Is it, uh... Is it bone? It might be. Come on. Come on. There we go. Wow, we really lobbed that fucker. Okay. Get the mower from the shed. Stacy, why are your butterfly hair clips all over the yard? I was returning them to nature. But <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> this is uh, a pretty dangerous way to mow the yard, I gotta say. Well, I would mow the lawn, but I hurt my knee at basketball practice, and my elbow at baseball, and my foot at... Oh my gosh, this is, uh... <laughs> Dad, the way you're mowing the lawn reminds me of this one episode of Sports Johnson, where he goes back and This is fucking not easy. <laughs> this is so ridiculous. It, it's... So the control, the both thumbsticks control all of my limbs, and then I have to hold different buttons down to, like, select which limb they're going to be controlling. Chop some firewood. Oh, man, running, though. I'm mastering that one. I'm glad it gives you so much leeway. This is pretty rough. <laughs> just, just flailing this motherfucker around. Okay, hang on. There we go. Easy peasy. Hang up the birdhouse. Is it not already hanging up? Oh, did it fall down? Oh, I see. I saw that crazy chef guy again. I've got you now. Oh Jesus. I will you will be caught down. Whoa. So there's a chef next door who wants you dead? I wish chopping easy was that easy. I wish chopping firewood was that easy. <laughs> IRL. Anyway. Yeah, our neighbor's a psycho. Whole family. A free trip to the aquarium. Yay! 
I know you think aquariums are festering prisons of iniquity, but I've got the right <laughs> article for the paper. Can't you make an exception this time? Oh my god. For me? <laughs> oh, uh, groceries. We need to go to the grocery store. We need things like cereal for the kids. Right, kids? Well, we already have cereal. We need so much cereal. Then it's settled. We're all going to the grocery store. They're trying to trick him into going to the aquarium? I want Sports Johnson cereal. Do I, pizza, do I have to drive? Chocolate milk. And I want an apple. Oh, she's driving. Oh, thank God. Find the frozen pizza. Gerbison's has revolutionized the modern shopping experience. Everything here is automated and handled remotely. Why, why can't I open this? Our freezer section is all frozen up. We're working on getting it fixed, Oh, it's frozen. But we're sure at least one freezer door is working. Oh, pfft. So that's not a frozen pizza though. See when the red light's on, the speaker is off. That means it's safe for me to talk about how we get our meat from what? What is it? Oh jeez. Uh what I was saying was it's safe to talk about how we get our meat from nowhere. Okay, so there's gonna it, the airplane up there makes it look like maybe for a big party this is some kind of like rube goldberg device that's gonna thaw the freezers all your biggest events maybe they're pizza bites could be i mean stranger things have happened destroy destroy hear that abazor action figures are back in stock by popular demand <laughs> this is fucking insane. Locate the perfect apple. Oh my god. Yo, Jizzy, how's it going? Uh, <laughs> welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for the raid. So, uh, oh my gosh. We're we're rocking some uh some Octodad right now. Um uh yo Keegan, how's it going? Thanks for the raid the other day. Yeah, yeah, no worries. No worries. Um oh my gosh, this game is a clusterfuck. Uh thank you for the raid, Jez. Does the piano work? Oh, that's a good question. Uh, how's it going, Hooligan, Axe Raid, Bryn, Jada? How's everyone doing? <laughs> Thank you for the raid that you get raided. Um, yeah, if anybody uh, here is not following uh, Jez, that is something I definitely recommend. She's, she's someone I've known for uh, for quite some time, and uh, she's uh, hosting uh, a basically doing a, a crime. What is it? Crime solving game. Uh, and letting chat decide the outcome of all major decisions. Um, and she's a super fun person to watch. Poops and butts, y'all. 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 Break it down. <laughs> Break it down, indeed. <laughs> Um, sorry, I'm just gonna catch up on chat a little bit here. Thank you for the cheers, hooligan. You ridiculous lunatic. Uh, yeah, real fun crime quiz. That's true. That's true. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Bryn knows an odd amount about, uh, about killers. Thank you, Sound Effects Perfect. Yeah, Cuphead was one of the first games that we played. Pretty much all of my alerts are either based on games that I really enjoy or ones that I've actually uh, played on stream for the most part. 
Oops, and butts indeed. Uh, thanks for criming. Well, see, the downside is uh, the time that you start. For me, it, that's like 3.30 in the afternoon. And uh, most Dixon, days... And Dixon, butts and Dixon, butts and Dixon, butts and Dixon, butts never gonna oh give them up. Oh, my God. What are you doing? Oh, I thought I was supposed to grab my cereal out of out of her basket. My bad. I'm just gonna be over here. Uh, yeah. So when you guys when you're starting uh, your um, your crime stream, I am. Uh, that's about the time that I go out for a, a walk with uh, with our daughter. I go for like usually about a two-hour walk, like three or so to five, five thirty, or sometimes two to five. Um, so I don't get to catch enough of it to feel like I'm making informed decisions with my votes, which is why I just, I just do meme votes. Two and a half Kevins. Who the heck is Chris? Murphy's Law. These are amazing. I would, I would watch some of these. This looks nuts. It looks like it'd be a cool VR game. It's really crazy. So basically the way it works, hang on, let's fire off a Stream Raiders battle. Another little interactive game that we've got going on. The way it works is you use the left thumbstick to move your arm around, up, down, left, right, and then use the right thumbstick for depth. Oh, so Daddy, both thumbsticks you just move your fucking arm. Syndrome. I also like it when you mail me pieces of your hair to glue onto my face like I have a beard, but the true friends are the ones we meet along the way to the 7-Eleven at night. Wow. Uh, yeah, that's a thing. <laughs> I don't know what to say about that one. Um, I want some pizza. Oh, yeah. E-I-Z-Z-A. Stream Raiders, you're addicted since you watched the stream. Nice. So, yeah, we've actually... Kind of exciting thing about this is we... Doing those PvP Stream Raiders games, um... We've gotten enough people now uh, who are taking part in our battles that we've hit most of the requirements to become a Stream Raiders affiliate, basically. Meaning that we can have, like, custom skins for our uh, little, like, uh, units on the battlefield. Um... The only thing that I haven't met, unfortunately, is the uh, viewer requirements. They they want you to have 30 average viewers, um, which is kind of a challenge. Um, is my I usually average about 20, so I don't know. Uh, a 50% increase in viewership is a little bit much to ask, given that I have all the actual Stream Raiders related requirements already done. But, you know, hopefully, hopefully at some point. Carefully, if you say you want pizza, <laughs> it may happen. <laughs> yes, Wyra has, in fact, sent pizza to my home on uh, several occasions. Um, it's not just an idle threat. Okay, we need mango soda, chocolate milk, cereal, and pizza. Um. Oh my god, moving your legs is really weird. It's like one one trigger controls one leg and the other trigger controls the other one. And then you use the thumbsticks uh to choose like direction and elevation. And that's that's how walking works. <laughs> A bit busy, but alert to add your live views. Uh, thank you. I appreciate that, Keegan. Yeah, sorry. Uh, once again, uh, yeah, it was no problem. I, I uh, yeah, always happy to uh, to go and and uh, you know check out a new streamer. I really enjoy um, Quantum Dreams games uh, as well. So that's something that you know we beat Beyond Two Souls. So I was thinking going and uh, and checking out another one of their games would be a fun time. Uh, hopefully, the rest of your stream was good. Uh, Unfortunately, by the time I finish streaming, I kind of have to head to bed pretty shortly thereafter, just uh, due to the fact that um, I've got a little 16-month-old uh, daughter who, um, yeah, just straight up does not understand uh, the meaning of sleeping in. It's not at all even a little bit in her vocabulary. Oh, there we go. There we go. I just figured out... Oh my god, this is a clusterfuck. 
I wish I could be a more regular viewer, but usually streaming too late for my East Coast blood. Yeah, that's all good. Axe head, I totally understand. I um I do stream earlier than I used to, but it is it is still um yeah pretty late overall. Boom, nailed it. Stop on by. Oh my god, this grocery shopping trip is insane. Um, yeah, I um, I used to stream starting at like 8 or 9 p.m. my time, which is like basically midnight East Coast. But now I, I start at 6, uh, five nights a week, so um, which is 9 over on on, uh, on the East Coast, which is like more doable for a lot of the East Coast viewers. Thank you, Brent. I really appreciate the, uh, the host. This game looks so frustrating. I would have quit playing after two minutes. Yeah, if it weren't for the fact that that is the gameplay, really, just the frustration is basically what the game is, uh, that would probably be most people's reaction to it. I wonder if they're Octodad Ninja videos? Uh, yeah, I have no idea. That Toast game is so much worse. Which one are you talking about? Can you climb in the freezer? Oh, maybe. Oh, oh, fuck, you nailed it. Okay. Oh, I see. I've got to go up there, maybe? Oh, this is fucking wild. Holy shit. I love it because an octopus can squeeze into things that are way smaller than their body. Oh, uh, I want to... Oh my god, this is really challenging. Holy shit. <laughs> oh yeah. Yo, Sky, what's happening, dude? Where are the rest of his legs? I have no idea. That's a good question. I wonder, maybe, maybe he just hides them? Oh, this is... This is really challenging. God damn it. I am bread, I think. I've never heard of that one. <laughs> Where are the rest of his legs? <laughs> I like that it perturbs you so much. He's more of a quadrupus. I imagine they're they're hidden in a suit, I guess. I don't know. The the thing is, like I guess part of part of this game is that like he's pretending not to be an octopus, so like his family doesn't know. Okay, how about this? We'll put... Going higher and lower doesn't seem to be an option. That's kind of... I think I have to go up onto the top shelf, but I can't tell. Oh, never mind. Oh, that's the shelf. Okay. Whoa! <laughs> nice. Nailed it. Uh, yeah, I... I f man, that's... Uh, I don't know if I would have figured that out, to be honest. Um, I missed a bit of chat. My bad. <laughs> Chat's exploded all of a sudden. Uh, I wish I were in a freezer right now. Um, yeah, what's shaking with the sky? What's, what's happening today, dude? I am bread is just as frustrating. Recommended. Okay, I'll have to add that to my uh, to my little list of games I want to check out. Maybe octopus cultures that you only show four legs and the other four are like penises. You put them inside your suit. <laughs> well, nobody knows he's an octopus. His wife doesn't know. Uh, the start of this game, you get married and you have to make sure that nobody figures out you're an octopus as you go down the aisle. Two for a mustache. Oh, that could be it. Right, right. His facial hair is really just just a bunch of arms folded over. I'm surprised he isn't freezing. I wonder if you could freeze if you're in there long enough. He's really bad at pretending since he walks on like a drunk spaghetti noodle. Yeah, well, so there's a little... Uh, at the bottom, there's a little thing of when you can be seen and when you can't. So right now, I'm being monitored. And if I knock shit over... Um, then people start to suspect things. So, that's like... What are you doing? Yeah, see how the, the suspicion meter is increasing at the bottom? Put the door back up, you heathen. Oh, okay. All right. That's a good call. That's a good call. Can I? No, it's not interactable. No, looks like it stays there. Get some food and then playing games shortly. Nice. Chatty Cathy's. I get it. 
Oh, his wife doesn't know? Yeah, and he has two kids. Um, that obviously are not his. Hope you have fun being an imposter or octopus father. <laughs> I'm really enjoying it. It's, uh, it's a lot of fun, actually. Okay, what else? I need chocolate milk. This Why milk is the... Is packed with vitamin Why is the milk unrefrigerated? Oh, I see the chocolate milk. It's at the bottom of the, uh, the back of the, of the, uh, of the counter there. Do you work here? Oh, I'm sorry. Does oh my God, I've been run over. Work here? Okay, let me try this again. Oh my God, we're almost there. Oh fuck yes. You're an octopus hiding three legs inside your suit? Yep, yep. Four legs inside of the suit, or I think being used as facial hair, actually. I think, I think, I think that's what's going on with his face. Is it's, it's pretending to be facial hair. I knew men were bad at grocery shopping, but this husband takes the cake. <laughs> oh god. It's an open front fridge unit. Yeah, exactly. Uh, oh, oh, you're talking about the thing with the milk thing? Is it? Is it? It doesn't have any of the hallmarks of being a refrigeration unit. Oh, it does have a little grill at the top. Never mind. Okay, you win. But he obviously doesn't know how many legs an octopus has. <laughs> Man, I'm an octopus, of course. I don't work here. <laughs> yeah, it's the blue suit. The blue suit does it. Um... Flinging milk around is not a good way to not get noticed. That's what people do. Mint craft. Oh, I thought maybe it was going to blow up. Oh, I see. Oh, that's kind of neat. Well, throwing things is very satisfying in my opinion. Hang on a sec. I'm gonna... Oh, fuck yeah. There we go. I saw like a vent up here I wanted to check out. Uh-oh. I'm stuck. Help. There we go. Okay. <laughs> I need an adult. <sighs> Maybe it's empty milk jugs for dairy farmers. There's a chance. It could be that. How are you controlling the legs and stuff? So the legs, when I hold the left trigger, it elevates the left leg, and then the thumbstick moves it around. Um, and then the same thing with the right trigger. It's the right leg. So that's how you control the different legs. And then when you're not holding a thumbstick, then, uh, or when you're not holding a, a trigger, rather, then the, uh, Oh, there we go. Then, uh, the, the two thumbsticks control your, um, uh, control your arms. Oh, there we go. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, fuck me. God damn it. Hang on, I'm gonna try and straddle this fucking, like, vent. Oh, no. I'm stuck. Oh, oh, oh. God damn it. This is hard. Uh, yeah, so I'm using a controller. I'm using, like, an Xbox uh, 360 controller. Uh, this was actually sent to me by um, one of the uh, amazing folks in this community. There we go. Oh, fuck yeah. We're crushing this. We found a collectible tie. Uh, this controller was actually sent to us from um, one of the folks who follows us, uh, The Machine Within. Uh, he does custom paint jobs on, uh, on, like, cars, like, uh, collector's vehicles, and, um, we did a custom paint job on this. It wasn't, like, yeah, it wasn't any of these colors to begin with. Uh, there's even a little, um, custom, it's like the, the outline of, of my rock emote, uh, at the front there. Uh, and then it has, uh, rocks etched into one side, and, um... And then my wife, uh, sonnet etched into the other. Kind of hard to see with the, uh, camera, but yeah, kind of a, a fun little, uh, little thing. 
Well, we got a fucking collectible, so I'm pretty jacked. Quality workmanship over prices. Quop. I love it. Oh, we can't go in there. Oh, uh, no one, no one's complained that we're behind the counter. Oh, I thought that was gonna fucking fuck me up. Oh shit, another tie. Oh neat. It's got meat on it. This is just how normal people do things. Easy. Come back later. There will be octopus toasty roll. Oh my god. Okay, now get Tommy's cereal. I don't know where it is. <laughs> oh, there it is. Okay. Awesome. Easy peasy. Hey, but get away from free sushi samples in the back. They are delicious. Get a sushi sample and back. Oh, the camera's fucked with me now. Okay, hang on. Let's get let's get out of here. There we go. There we go. Whoops. So someone's gonna try and eat me, I guess. I don't want to go in there. I'm afraid of that room, but I do want that that sushi sample. We'll just we'll just take little baby steps. Ah, oh, damn it! I, I knew it. Turn you into moderately priced sushi. Hey, but get away from free sushi samples in the back. They are delicious. So if I take it, I get killed. How do I avoid that? I'm gonna create a a rib shield. Come on, we can grab it. I will turn you into moderately priced sushi. <laughs> oh, I see, I see. I was just too close to him. I guess it killed me. Oh my fucking god! I can kill you. Oh my god! I think this is my neighbor. He tried to kill me earlier. The hell animal did that giant meat come from? Yeah, it, it, I feel like it's a, uh, uh, like a Flintstones reference. There you are. We were getting worried. You're always up to something. Odd. Something on the floor what sparkled by the door. There? Ah, shit. It, it was probably the third tie. Well, an answer would be appreciated. Is that Avoidance burbles. <laughs> so ridiculous. Okay. Pretty straightforward. All right, now that we've got nice. all our groceries, it's time to head to the aquarium. Yay! Yeah, the door I ran out of. Yeah, be getting dinner, and moving to iPad. Sounds good, Brent. Well, that makes two of us. Yeah, how uh, how snuggle was the rest of the stream, by the way? Yay! I want to see a snuggle fish. I want to climb something condemned. Honey, it's really simple. You can come to the aquarium with your family. Or you can walk home alone. Come on, Dad! What are you waiting for? <laughs> Alright, so the family's insistent on going to the uh, aquarium. Plot twist is the mother's also an octopus. Ooh, oh my god, that would be that. such a good twist. Check out that gift shop. <laughs> Our biologists know a fish when they see one. <laughs> oh my god. Honey, are you alright? What has got you so spooked? <sighs> okay. Oh, his I'll whole body is his arms. That That's what's going on. Questions. It's like a head and then just all the fucking arms. Now, let's get some tickets. 
Give your meat a good old rub. Nice and hot. <laughs> yeah, boy. Hey, Holly, how's it going? Thank you for visiting the Curry Aquatic Fun Center. Human mom married to an octopus? Oh. Yeah, uh, and they've got normal kill normal children, so... I imagine she had them with, uh... I don't know, with, like, a neighbor, maybe? Exhibits are through the turnstile up ahead. <laughs> if you feather the controls, it makes it a lot easier to get around. <laughs> it's so silly. <laughs> oh my god. Those are not your kids. You just don't know. Yeah, there's no way they could be my kids, right? My wife doesn't even know I'm an octopus. Fantastic. Have a whale of a time. Boom, nailed it. Okay, go through the turnstile. Something smells fishy. <laughs> oh no. You always say that. They know a fish when they see one, but not a cephalopod. Oh, okay, so marine biologists know what's up. I have to, like, sneak past them? Oh, I go to the gift shop. Sir, please buy something to move along. Oh. oh, easy peasy. Tommy and Stacy are growing up so fast. Soon I'll need a bigger camera. How does this work? Well, oh, I see. In the infinite universe, anything is theoretically possible. And I will be <laughs> Everything is theoretically possible. That's how you answer your kids. Okay, kids. We'll be back here in two hours. Explore the Oh, damn. Any doors you can't go in, the fucking doorknobs just come off. Okay, so I have to not get spotted by marine biologists. All right, let's go. I have to find them now. Okay. Oh, I see you. All right, so I just have to find my family now. Easy peasy. Oh man, look at all this learning. Come on, Dad. Let's get through all this junk so we can get out of here. Look at all the this world learning. Of kelp. Travel the world of kelp. And I went How to fast um can you map the world's kelp forest. Grab that big does, globe and I'll get the quiz going. How does this game work? Oh, I can't believe mom convinced me to go to World of Kelp. I bet Stacy's having a great time in the deep sea. Um, I, yeah, I went Come to, on, uh, Dad. it's called the Imaginarium in San Francisco. I think that's it. Something like that. Something Arium. I forgot. Mario Sisters, can be awesome. you're green. Go, Dad, go! I don't, I don't understand what I need to do here. You're in my bubble. <laughs> I don't get... What I'm trying to do. And this fucking globe needs to get out of my face. Clunia, red. Find him, Dad. Dad, Laminaria oh, is yellow. Hurry, hit all three. Dad, spin the earth as hard as you can. <laughs> oh, I need to find the yellow dots on the globe and, and press them, I guess. I 
I think I got them all. Oh! Uh... I don't think that was supposed to happen. I don't think I was supposed to fall through the fucking world. That, that seemed like a bit of an oversight. What's down here? Oh. I never knew that about Kel. Alright. I'll just proceed through in the same spot I was with my kid and try not to, I don't know, get shunted through the earth, apparently. That was really weird. Oh man, look at all this learning. Come on, Dad. Let's get through all this junk so we can get out of here. The world of kelp. Travel the world of kelp. How fast can you there you the assist kelp for They're green. Grab that big gold and I'll get that Clunia. Red. Find him, Dad. Uh. Dad, Laminaria is yellow. Hurry, hit all three. Dad, spin the earth as hard as you can. Bacrocystis is purple. Hurry, Dad. We need to get the best time. We hope you've enjoyed your journey around the okay. world. Okay. Kelp. I crushed it. Easy peasy. When you're not getting shunted below the entire map, um, turns out the game's uh, not bad at all. You call the root. You gotta make the slide at home that long. That was great. That keeps kelp on the seafloor. Take what the tilt equip. That hold kelp to the ground. Tilt the slider to find out. Oh, I see. You have to make the thing. Oh my gosh. This is fucking rough. Oh no. Can't get unstuck. My foot is like jammed in something. <sighs> I think I've been soft locked. My left leg is like, is jammed in something. Oh, 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 there we go. I got out. Oh my fucking Christ. This really is like Quop. It, it is, it is very reminiscent. <sighs> there we go. My fucking Jolly, legs keep getting stuck under things. To reproduce. Get a male and female spore into each seafloor soil plot. <laughs> There we go. There we go. All right, and this is like a hamster wheel, I guess. Yeah. Keep going. Come on, run faster. S J fast. What did he say? S J fast. Combine spores of each color. So... Is that how that works? You just put a blue thing and a green thing into the same container? What are the gas-filled bladders that help kelp float? Touch the top of the kelp to blue. find out. And... Get over here, and then red. Easy peasy. And then one of them went fucking flying. There we go. Oh, 
Oh, god damn it. There's blue. And... Uh... Oh no. Where did it even go? There we go. Holy shit. Okay. Grab the top of the kelp. My god, my kid is fucking me up. No, I got trolled by my fucking child. There we go. Uh, thanks for the host, Umbra. I appreciate that, dude. How you doing today? Stand by for Titanfall. Sounds like what might happen IRL. Yeah, pretty much. Security. Oh, there we go. Oh my fucking god. Sea urchins eat kelp, and otters eat sea urchins. Use the otter to save kelp from urchin extinction. Just try and protect those kelp, Dad. <laughs> Incoming urchins. <laughs> This is ridiculous. Pew, pew, pew. Nature is great. Defend the kelp. Well, looks like we're almost done here. This way, Dad. <laughs> Security, this oddly flexible man is wilding out. He's really truly going mad. This is uh This is ridiculous. Get to the top. Oh my god. Those remind me of, uh, um, in the local, like, what are they called? It's not a carnival, but like, a uh, where they have a bunch of, like, um, is it a carnival? I guess, I guess maybe carnival is the term I'm looking for. Or they've got, like, just mostly, like, just kids rides and bumper cars and shit like that. Uh... Security of this man was break dancing on my child. <laughs> yeah, I would I would complain. I would complain about that. What up with you? Uh not much. I'm uh yeah, playing Stream Raiders, playing uh Octodad. I'm enjoying both of them. <laughs> Having a fun time. <laughs> yeah, one of those fair amusement park, I don't know. Uh, in in my town it was called Buccaneer Day. It was like a pirate themed fucking thing. Um They'd set up some rides that would break down all the time. But they had one where you, you go in and it's just like a two-story building that just has all kinds of bullshit in it. It's not like scary. It's not like a fucking haunted house. It's just like a, I don't know, house of bouncy shit and entertainment. Yeah, you know, like true pirates, exactly. <laughs> yeah, not to mention that all the people who were setting up and taking down the rides uh, were obviously... All um, just super alcoholic drug addicts, so you know that's uh, that's also very very buccaneer. We'll kill all allied troops if destroyed. Jesus! Well, don't let this get destroyed. Holy shit! Wow, so we need like a like a ring of of protection around this fucking structure. There we go. 
All right. The fears in construction. <laughs> they set up some rise up breakdown all the time. Sounds like a pirate ship simulation. Yeah, pretty much. Thing is, like, I I know someone who actually worked for them uh, for a summer, and he said basically all the people who've been there a long time uh, were all uh, all had some pretty bad meth addiction. So when I say uh, mostly drug addicts, it's not just hyperbole. They're uh, apparently we're all uh, pretty pretty big on their drugs. Real real big fans. Oh my god, this is fucking wild. Oh, there we go. Oh no! That was close. What the fuck? This is like MXC. This is just like when Sports J entered the Intergalactic Olympics and Pooh's Valor challenged him in the Ultra Climbing Challenge. And Sports J is like, Ugh. Hey, we did it. We got to the top. Thank you for visiting the world of Kelp. Please consider donating or buying Kelp merchandise on your way out. Just reverse ski paddle with three, Dad. Oh shit. Oh, I actually went back in. Oh my gosh. Meth in Canada? No, can't be. The media tells us Canada's almost Ouch. perfect. Oh, there's, uh, yeah, there's, there's meth in Canada. Meth's international. Who doesn't love meth? Uh, in fact, BC has a fentanyl crisis. Where uh, so many of the drugs uh, in BC are laced with fentanyl that uh, BC actually declared a state of emergency uh, due to the insane number of overdoses. Um, paramedics have to have uh, what's it called? Naloxone kits? Is that the name of it? No good. The uh, Thing that you use to stop a fentanyl overdose. Shed some light on it it... So that's a lot of fun. You are now entering the deep ocean. Yeah, drugs are drugs are international. Home to many strange and mysterious creatures. Bear witness to their world. Oh, he has two tentacles that come down as his feet. That's what's going on. So that's two of his legs accounted for. Don't run off without me. Okay, Dad? Predators seek out the phosphorescent glow of their prey. Do you have what it takes to hunt in the darkness? I bet you don't. So, if you were a bigger fish, you would catch the smaller fish. Them raise them to be big fish, right? Good dancing, Dad. I tried to dance like you and hit my head and went to sleep. Well, oh, this is wild. On, Fucking Dad, DDR the Octopus the Edition. Congratulations, Hunter. You have what it takes. Now take a shake I light and see. descend. Are there any more lights around here? Take a shake light? Oh, pff, wow. That's cool. I'll tell that to NBC or CNN in America. You know those kids at the venues I work at? Sad time. Yeah. Yeah, when you type sad, it, it pulls up, uh, uh, most words pull up, uh, the corresponding emote. 
like uh, sad, hydrate, lewd. Your kid got head damage. The extreme DDR. Why is your child such a troll? Um, I'm guessing, you know, it's from uh, being... Having, having her father fucking gaslight her all her life. <laughs> Pretending not to be a fucking octopus. Oh, give the light to Stacy. Take it. Take my fucking light. There you go. Excuse me, little girl. That was the majestic hall of jellyfish. Were you entranced? I bet you were. Oh my gosh. I mean, I am your little butterfly. Oh my god. I forgot about the DDR songs. I, I never played DDR, but I had so many friends who were so fucking into it, and a few of them got to that point where they were playing, like, the hardest songs on the hardest modes and stuff. Pretty crazy to watch. Lyra implies the existence of Lyra? And or Myra? Loot Lyra. Oh, while Luigi is to Luigi. Oh my god. <laughs> I always thought that, uh... Like, Wario? That makes sense, right? It's Mario, but with war in the name. But fucking, uh... Waluigi? Really? Waluigi? That's not anything. Oh my god, the wire management in here is abysmal. It's worse than my computer. Wajezi, please. <laughs> the math checks out. <laughs> oh no! I'm totally wrapped up. I'm just gonna struggle. Oh no. There we go. There we go. Why are- why did they turn off? I don't understand. How do I fucking turn the light back on? <laughs> Wired on crime. <sighs> yeah, I've I've been loving seeing how uh, how super active the the streams have been. It's awesome. Cuddly snuggle fish. <laughs> a stuffed snuggle fish toy makes a killer gift. Oh my god. <laughs> the quips next time if you're super wired. Oh yeah, that'll be sick. Oh, we're crossing our uh, fingers for some quip lash this weekend. <laughs> Kathy Rain got weird tonight, did it? Both their names are derivative of Warui, which means bad. Well, I mean if you're gonna if you're gonna get all scholarly weeb about it. Kathy Reen has a past. Oh. You can do it. 
We got into serious territory. Oh, shit. Maybe I need to... Maybe I need to straddle this fucking... Ah. Uh. Come on. Nah, fuck it. I'm just gonna try and make a make a fucking run for it. Come on. Oh fuck yeah. Crushing it. Thank you for visiting the deep ocean. Equip ASAP for your gal. Yeah, you guys should totally uh you know, finish your streams with some quiplash or, or start them that way or something. That'd be cool. Or just do, you know, funky little streams here and there. Come um, weave the requirements of being a weave just got really easy. Uh, knowing a uh, single Japanese word. Boom. Uh, watching anime. That's probably a pretty good requirement too. That'd be a whole thing to do. Round up some people and all. Uh, it could be. I mean, the thing about when you're streaming it is, like, people can also just come and join your games. There's, like, a huge community of people that like to play Jackbox. We should need to talk. I wonder what our lives will be like once our kids grow up and move away. Maybe we'll finally have time to travel. Lady Pie? Is that so? Is that so? These strange incidents keep happening and you brush them off like they're nothing. Like when your foot got caught in the sleeve van, or when we ran out of printer ink and you just made more. And I keep buying you toothbrushes and then finding them in the trash. Someday I'll be strong enough to pull the snake. What do I have to do to like Oh There we go Oh my gosh this is wild I don't think using Google makes me a weeb <laughs> No the biggest weebs use Google That's a fact about a few times regarding Kathy's. Whoa! Jesus. Regarding. <laughs> I missed it. I missed it. What's going on? Uh. Felt bad a few times regarding Kathy's past. Like I blinked and suddenly I'd left a goddamn joke about it. Like, she's had a bunch of dark shit in her past that's, like, suddenly coming forth in later in the game, or a Korea boo. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I just like the word weeb. Come see my band, Kathy's Past, tonight for one magical point only. <laughs> Make sure to gather people for quip, but, like, Rockstar does tend to draw a crowd. Oh, absolutely, yeah. It, it's kind of hard to stream uh, Quiplash without ending up with a bunch of a bunch of folks wanting to get involved, which uh, is kind of fun. I enjoy it. Jada's played Kathy Rain before, and she, uh, Said she knew we'd get sucked into it after it got heavy. The girl girl's showing mouse videos to Orson right now. <laughs> hey, Jorgen, how you doing? How's your evening treating you? Did the punk's cool AF? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. From what I understand, uh, both of y'all are some awesome folks. From what I've seen. Fish toss? Looks like the rainforests are being cut down. I guess nothing lasts forever. Okay. Oh my gosh. We're talking about Kathy Rain so much, but she gobsmacked us tonight. No, that's all good. I totally uh, get it. That's that's what happens when you play a great game. 
Um, yeah, once again, those of you uh, who are around who don't follow uh, Jessie, please. Uh, you totally should. Um, she is uh, a few followers shy of affiliate and uh, and is a super entertaining streamer. She usually has like, you know, an average of like 12, 14 people watching her streams. Um, but is playing a uh, pretty, pretty niche game at the moment, so not a lot of folks are finding her. <laughs> Toss those fish, you badass. <laughs> Loved him, salmon boy. Oh my god. Uh, I wanted to make so many stupid sentences out of that voice program on her Blue Pill OS computer. <laughs> Saying hi before sleeping. I appreciate that, Jorgen. Um, throw the trout, you lily liver. I love uh, old school insults like that. The fact that that's like... Uh, or uh, Tarnation. That's another one that doesn't get used often enough. What in Tarnation is uh, is pretty great. Everyone's verbally berating you. No. Chuck Dim Halibut. Uh, fucking yeet them cod. Oh my fucking lord. I, I can't I can't figure out what I need to do to hit the fucking <laughs> No No At This point I'm just flailing. Come on. Oh wait, I think maybe I have it. Oh my god, come on! Uh, get, her, get her done, you fish tosser! Fucking Christ. <laughs> Fuck that. <laughs> Alright, there we go. <sighs> You gotta have a method. Hey, that guy's cheating. Nope. Nope. I'm fucking drowning, but I'm totally not cheating. There was that time you were fixing the sink and the disposal came on, but you wouldn't go to the hospital, yet somehow your arm looks good as new. Are you ever going to explain that? the ocean, but you seem to hate the aquarium. <laughs> that brain game is rigged. Oh, it's totally rigged. Oh, you're supposed to fucking get your arm up in there. Oh, that's awesome. I boy, like this. Boy, look at me. Look, look at, at me, me boy. boy. <laughs> Thank you, Jada. I appreciate the cheer. Oh, are these the other prizes I'm supposed to give? Give her? No? Okay. What do I do with these fucking things? What do I fucking... Do I just pull them all out? Oh, it's a tie. It's a collectible. That's what it is. Oh, God damn it. Do I walk normally? This isn't a joke. <laughs> Wonder Twin Powers, activate. I don't know. I can't get the tie. Fuck it. Fuck it. It's not one of the ones I need to do to, to fucking beat this. Screw it. Oh, 
Oh, come on. Oh! Fuck off. Oh, fucking... Easy every time. You just gotta be standing in the right place. This is great. Jada, go go get yourself the uh, the loyalty chest. <laughs> Lend him your powers. <sighs> Toss them to your Stepford wife over there. <laughs> yeah, apparently she doesn't want them. <sighs> what is a loyalty chest? So, uh, <laughs> you're glad you're. Th well, it's it's good that you're you're happy with your partner. That's uh, that's always a positive. <sighs> How does he compare to regular chests, like a hairy chest or a busty chest? <laughs> um, so uh, the loyalty chest. So the way it works is there's the Stream Raiders Battlefield. Um, with all the different folks. Who have their their units on the battlefield and um every once in a while there's one of these which is a loyalty chest there's like one per map and uh the reward is a lot greater than the normal uh rewards so um yeah so now we've got oh my god we like hopefully we'll get to it tonight if not i'm gonna have to uh refund all of your fucking stream currencies and and you'll have to try again tomorrow because there's only like one of them it's kind of meant that so that like by the time we we get to that map like while we're doing the battle you know you can redeem them but <laughs> units uh yeah yeah so it just gives you some really sick loot on stream raiders so uh so now we've got okay we got jada hooligan and logical all have redeemed uh the different have redeemed some some loyalty chest uh action so let me just let me just make a note to myself here um uh that we've got we've got u3 in that order Fight for your life. Yo, what's shaking, Drew Hog? Uh, how's it going? How's it going tonight? Um, I heard you like sick loot. Uh, what inflatable? Also, how's it, how's it going? Logical. What inflatable arm flailing tube man game are you playing? Uh, this wacky waving inflatable arm flailing tube man game is uh, Octodad, and um, basically, I'm pretending to be a totally normal human. And my uh, wife is none the wiser. How does this fucking game work? Hang on, maybe we can get our arm in it. Oh yeah. I should write about the plight of the rainforest. I could catch a boat to the Amazon and take pictures of all the sad monkeys. Maybe that people would care. Oh, this is. Oh shit. I was about to say easy. The fact you maxed the co-stream contributions at 2k. I want to put all 50k. Uh, it's automatically maxed at 2k. That's how it works. So, yeah, if people want to see a uh, me and Sonnet uh, or a Sonnet and I stream, um, you can only ever contribute 2k loyalty points on any on any one stream, and if it all adds up high enough then uh then you know redemption successful um the uh yeah it's automatically capped at, at 2k per per thing that that part i can't adjust i've always wondered what you keep in that musty old basement but it'd be going better if stream raiders would load oh that sucks All right, bro, you want to fucking battle? Dude, mess with the Octodad and you get so the- you think you can beat old Air Hockey Matt at his own game, huh? <laughs> Bring it.
Oh my god. Oh, it's stuck. Oh, there we go. I can't move it fast enough. How did you beat me? I've been training for so long. Wow, he's just scored on himself. What a lucky break for me. Hang on. We can get it. We can get this prize. Oh my god. Mini boss LP. There we go. <laughs> Game is satisfying. That sweeping was. Yeah, I liked that one. You're usually so talkative. <coughs> when we're talking about us, you clam up. I don't understand what that means for me. Can you put this in me terms? Uh, the Stream Raiders chest thing? Or the uh, mini games? Or the game that I'm currently playing? Which Which aspect? What's this called? Can you get the raindrops from the slot to the underground? Okay. Alright. I get it. Oh my gosh. Why is it so high up? Hang on, maybe I'll... Oh yeah, okay, there we go. If I stand on this, that helps a lot. Maybe you drop it in a, one of the sides? Doing swell, was on the lake for five hours today, then the boat just died. Sheriff towed me in, I kept drinking beers, and dropped it off at the marina and said, I don't care, fix it. I get home and I'm more red than a lobster. Forgot Sunster Green. Uh, that sounds like a fun time. Hey, sweet. Mercury retrograde. Uh, that's what's responsible for the boat breaking down, you mean? Sometimes I remember the lyrics to Sir Psycho Sexy from middle school. My hands are full. Why don't you try to fix that instead? What? Uh, I've never heard of Sir Psycho Sexy. Whoops, I'm accidentally hugging children. That's not good. Here, use these. Oh my god. I'm fine. I have to go from fucking. Oh my god. Visiting the marina to suddenly. or the aquarium to suddenly I'm. I'm responsible for. for saving everyone. Wow. That was unexpected. Kick the children. Ah, that's how you deal with them. Gotcha. Next time. Next time. We'll, we'll lay the boots to them. Yeah, what's the... Uh, the, the way to remember, uh, like, chords? Always be kicking children or something like that? Oh my god. It's so hard to control yourself. This is ridiculous. Going upstairs and stuff, especially, I keep getting, like, trapped. Every good boy deserves fudge. I think it's always be kicking children. Oh, there's no K chord. I guess that doesn't make any sense. Yeah, you might be right. Every grody builder deserves fish. 69 units replaced. I didn't even notice that. Uh, all right. So this isn't a loyalty chest. This is just a, uh, um, normal ass reward. It's got some, some units there. Uh, I'll grab my event related ones. We'll do the next battle and then hopefully, 
Um, hopefully, we'll get to the point where we uh, we get a crack at that loyalty chest. Yeah, Chrono Trigger is a really good one. Absolutely. I would tend to agree there. Oh god, we have to cut through the cafeteria? Okay. How did she get up here? Maybe she had to go through the employee area? You fell into my trap! <laughs> Nowhere to run this time! Uh-oh. Now, tell me, Octopus. What are you plotting? I think you really story involved games, especially non-RPGs, since the narrative was actually just stringing together gameplay elements. Yeah, that's why I think games like The Last of Us and like some of the, some newer games that are really built and driven around the story are so so cool. Figuring out what's really going on in Shadow of the Colossus is pretty fulfilling. Oh, like just hitting the ending and suddenly kind of seeing what what everything was. Poor octopus. Why is the boat stopped? Where's the captain? You know him, probably taking a shower. In the middle of a rainstorm? <sighs> oh, so this is, uh... This is us stowing aboard the ship. Making our way into society. A, sea monster? Ah, a little joke keeps me up that extra seventeen hours. Hey, where'd my coffee go? Gosh. There we go. Wow, that's fucking so hard to do. Oh, yeah, the Walking Dead games. Yeah, those ones are really fucking intense, actually. Uh, Detroit Become Human is probably one of my favorites, to be honest. I really enjoyed Detroit Become Human. Day three, I've still not found a full plate mail. Uh, Diablo, uh, from what I understand, can be a cruel mistress. Oof. Get inside undetected. Choir of the sky. Oh my god. Banana peels. Oh my god. Yeah, Telltale games are good. I, um... I've been wanting to check out the Batman one. Bananas everywhere. This is so ridiculous. Watch out, it's slippery out here. Ooh, that was close. Get to the control room, okay. Oh, I don't think that'll lead to there. Oh shit. Come on. Oh, 
I still need to do the rest of the wolf one in Game of Thrones. So I've only played one Telltale game, which was the first chapter of um, The Wakian Dead. I haven't played any of the others. Um, it was pretty stressful, to be honest. I mean, I would play another chapter and everything. I just haven't because it was... Uh, I don't know, just an intense game. Well, I've been kind of putting it off, putting off playing uh, the next one. You love Detroit, nice. Yeah, uh, that was one of my favorite uh, streams I've done, actually. Bring me that game. Like, oxen free a lot. I don't know oxen free. Plus, everyone in the game is gorgeous. Till the deck is swabbed and the anchors hoisted. Off of the... Our net profit went up. Good one. What? Net profit? I oh my god, all their puns. It's ridiculous. The Carrie Fernandez ending of Castlevania Legacy of Darkness is one of my favorite story in a Castlevania game. Oh wow. I, um... I've only played Symphony of the Night. That's the only Castlevania game I've ever played so far. A lot of story involved in the game, really, but her ending has a whoa moment. Oh, cool. I mean, even a bit of good story in a game helps a lot. What? We've come a long way from that. Let's not stereotype ourselves. Yeah, I'm sorry. That's fine. Please, hold your peg leg so I can swap the poop test. <laughs> Yay! We're crushing it. The Wolf Among Us is my favorite telltale. Oh, okay, I'll have to check it out. I've heard really good things about it. Oh, fuck yeah, dude. I'm on it. This, uh, this is like Hitman. I'm a master of disguise. I saw somebody sneaking around the front of the boat. It could be my eyes playing tricks on this plane. This is so fucking ridiculous. Have no fear, I am honestly the captain. The captain's back, thank goodness. Start the boat, Captain. Hurry. Uh yes, of course. Starting the boat. I heard he's a real um I asked him for seconds and he threw a pineapple at me. Well I asked him for pineapples and he kicked me in the stomach. <laughs> the silliest thing is I've found multiple rare armors that I wish for the full plate mail. Like a lot of Wolf Among Us, but the PS4 came out and I stopped playing it. There are a bunch of good Castlevania games. Lament of Innocence has a lot of solid music in it. Uh, I'll have to look into which one is sort of the most uh, most worth playing because I yeah I haven't played. Uh... Oh hello. I haven't played any of them like I say aside from uh, Symphony of the Night, and I really enjoyed it. Like I really dug it, but the only one I've played. Say hello to a little one. Hello. hello. Yeah. What was that? Yeah. Yeah. You love Wolf Among Us too. Nice. Yeah, I should. I should pick it up. Play a lot of Warframe. It's reached a point where it's pretty lore heavy. Nom, 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 nom. Persona Three had a good story. I really enjoyed Persona Five, um, but it was 180 hours of streaming. It was like two and a half months of my being the game that I played three of my five nights a week. Next Castlevania should do should either be OG or Lament. Of it is, I don't really want to play any of the ones for the NES because they, I don't know, they just seem so uh, mechanically punishing, like very very dated mechanics. Hello, stuff. You want to wave? You want to say hello? Hello. Hello. Hi. 
Yeah, good job. My little babaroo. What are you doing? What are you doing? Want to go in way, way back? <laughs> yeah. Hello. Oh, are you all tangled in cables? Well, you kind of did that to yourself. Oh my gosh. Now you're. Oh my gosh. Uh. <laughs> Here, we'll just. Oh my goodness. Okay. All right. Well. What happens when you grab at the wires? Oh, I was. Okay. She really likes uh, being sort of hung upside down. Like if I hold her body out, she likes to like tip her head up and look at things upside down. Um, but then Sonic came back and so now she's really just wants to hang out with Mama. The original Castlevania isn't that punishing. I think I'd, I do think I'd recommend Castlevania 3 over it though now that I'm thinking about it. Castlevania 2 has some RPG elements that you've already explored with the Superior Symphony of the Night, but C3 is a much better C1 with some new gameplay elements. Okay, interesting. We're moving again. Praise Poseidon and his ever-flowing beard of plan. Who's that woman? Is it just me, or did the captain seem jiggly? <laughs> oh, Jesus. The captain's back! Captain, hurry. Oh, clear off the map. Uh, Sometimes I wish I could be in the That new cook on board? I heard he's a real piece of pork. Oh I my asked god, come on. And he threw a pineapple at him. Well, I asked him for pineapples and he kicked me in the stomach. Start the ship's engines. And then go see who my new wife is. Bioshock Infinite. Oh, yeah. I uh, I tried to get into Bioshock Infinite like a Is while it back, me, or did the seem than usual? and wasn't really super into it. But I'd like to take another shot at it. How do I fucking? I don't quite get it. Oh, smash the crates somehow. Oh, I'm supposed to smash them. Um, okay, well, I need something that can smash some crates, then. Oh, my gosh. Oh, Shock has some solid world building. Um, yeah, the gameplay of Bioshock is the only part that never really appealed to me that much. I don't, I don't get it. I don't, I don't really understand what I need to do here. The box of cod, I need to smash it. Uh, oh, the steering wheel is glowing. Oh, oh, am I just supposed to like rock us back and forth or something. Whoa, watch out. Yeah. Watch out. Ah, there we go. Okay. They kind of have to be into FPS stuff at all. Really enjoy Bioshock. FPSs don't bug me that much. I actually played Call of Duty a, a bunch. 
back when I was a uh, console scrub. <laughs> the captain. But I'm sorry um, for throwing away. Please don't throw me overboard. This one when I started playing Bioshock Infinite. Really? Well, now we're both in trouble. I'd like reach an area <laughs> that. Uh, <laughs> Aren't we a pair? It was just like a. I don't know, a, a long yeah. corridor of, um, of just, like, chest-high walls. And it was just like, okay, so I, like, proceed through here, and then enemies come from both sides and hide behind the walls, and then that's exactly what would happen. And it was just like, I don't know, the gameplay, it just kind of felt like, oh, man, if that's, if that's how this game's going to be, that's going to be a little rough. Like, I didn't... I, I felt like it was really really predictable and uninspired um, but maybe it gets a lot better like but that was just i don't know i played it for about a half hour and i was just like oof i'm i don't know about this wow i hate games of that sort of play and then they throw in cover mechanics yeah pretty much it just sort of felt uh yeah, like exactly that. I don't. Did, did Bioshock have cover mechanics? I don't remember. Like anchoring to geometries and pop and pick shots. Um. The only time when that does kind of make sense is in a game where, uh. It requires, like. What the fuck is a sheep shank and how do I tie it? You are not the captain. You are not even human. I love this game. How's it going, Uni? Yeah, you. What? Who are you? Stowaway? Wait, before you kick me off, can I ask you some questions about the war? Um, yeah, if there's like a um a sniping mechanic, for example, that can be kind of good for uh gosh oh i see i see i'm supposed to swing this thing out of uh yeah sniping in games is really really challenging in a game where you have to like also be taking cover and shit like that so being able to kind of like snap the cover and pop up and then use this sort of sniping mechanic to like zoom in and and line up shots and stuff like that kind of makes sense Bioshock's great. Yeah, I'll. I should. I'm absolutely gonna give it another shot. I've got it on my backlog too, so it's. It's one that I put on a few stream polls as well. It's just never won any of them. What a goofy game. Yeah, pay the fee. It's very goofy. Vara Vera Silla game. I hope that man is okay. All right, all right. So what about you, mystery man? Who are you? Well, someday I'll get an answer out of you. In the meantime, would you care for a dance? <laughs> so ridiculous. <laughs> Just kicking his way back. <laughs> Instead of getting back on the boat? What the fuck? Yeah, very romantic. Legit flipping through my purchased games folder for good story ideas. Um, yeah, what other games are really good? I mean, honestly, fucking for me, Detroit Become Human is like right, right up at the top. It's completely like story driven. There's a lot of decisions you can make that influence things heavily. And uh, it's a game where uh, it's like the, the, the setting is cyberpunk. And for me, that's like one of the most important elements or one of one important one of my favorite like settings I should say these do cover mechanics right but some of them are uh, are GTA honestly GTA 5 I, I've only played the single player but I really really enjoyed the uh 
the mechanics of like all three of the characters having their own kind of special power and stuff. Kitten Squad is a game made by PETA and it's pretty crazy. Did I do a, a full, fully charged swim every time? Maybe that's what I was missing. It felt like he was getting close when I was fully charging each time. But maybe not. Maybe that's the trick I'm supposed to use. Oh, there's always a bigger fish. Ooh. Fucking episode one up in there. Like it doesn't have much of a story, but it's a cute game that suddenly drops savage factoids about animal mistreatment here and there. <laughs> there are... Uh, PETA is oddly... Um, uh, a group that drops like a surprising amount of misinformation as well. About that sort of thing. Uh, which is kind of a shame because there is a shitload of animal mistreatment that occurs, but they they do um, They do put out a surprising amount of misinformation, which is kind of annoying But what's so nice you'd be going hard and the game would be like switch bitch and you'd be put in a spot where you're pinned down <laughs> My joke to you rockstar Yeah, I don't know. This single-player campaign of GTA V, I think, was fucking really, really well done. And the mechanic of switching between characters and them having their own specials and stuff, I think, was crazy well executed. It's really hard to do that kind of gimmick right, I think. You know, the original Red Dead Redemption had a solid story. I never played Red Dead uh, 1 or 2. Or finished GTA 5, just didn't like any of the main characters. Oh, yeah. Kids, have you seen your father? It's almost closing time. Where could he be? Don't know. I saw him go in a weird door. Another mystery. Well, we'll wait as long as we can. Excuse me, ma'am? It's that weirdo! I have bad news about your husband. Don't trust him! Have we met? <laughs> Wait. I've seen you. Are you an old friend of my husband's? What can you tell me about him? Everything! You must come with me to cafeteria! Come on, Stacy. What? Wait! <laughs> A blurb of getting his game face on. Wow. His blubs are so emotive. I think if they made it so that there was always maybe a cutscene that triggered the switch during a fight, it'd be cool. I mean, you could start fresh and not just have to switch to a whole different position in a fight. I don't know, I don't remember it being a thing, really, that, like, affected me. Um. Yeah, I don't recall offhand. Oh, are we going to reveal ourselves? Find the gift shop key. I feel like we're, we're going to uh, reveal our true self to our wife. Uh, well, my leg is stuck on this. Oh my god, there we go. We're out. Hmm. Oh, dude, Planescape Torment was so good. I think that's such an underrated game. Deadly Tower of Monsters was effing fun? I've never heard of that. 
Yeah, Planescape Torment was really good, and then Torment Tides of Numenera, I really liked as well. Uh, the sort of spiritual successor. Oh, there's the key. Water and water and water, water, water and water and water, water. Yeah, Octodad's naked. He was, uh... <laughs> he, uh... He was thrown into the water. He was stripped. He was attacked by the chef. And did for me because I could, uh, I could be fucking shit up as Trevor and using his ability, but then would, like, switch to Franklin. And Franklin was how to drive and jack cars. Oh, I guess so. I think the shooting elements of the game were pretty forgiving, usually. Mermaid's hair? What is this? Find a crate opening tool. Okay, so I need to find a crowbar somewhere. Oh, there's one. Oh my god. God damn it. Water and water and water, water, water and water and water. It's so catchy. Dude, stop falling off of that fucking ledge. Holy shit. Oh, there we go. Holy crap. Is that supposed to be a disguise? Is that what's going on? Glad that day's over. Yes, the patrons made more of a mess of the exhibits than usual. Oh my god. One day we will teach people to Oh my fucking god, come on. One day. Come on! Holy shit, dude. Getting your fucking legs stuck under something that's like around is so annoying. <laughs> to go through the lost and found me me i do i could use a new watch oh my god oh jesus i tossed in for the numenera kickstarter but i haven't played it yet oh dude you gotta Oh, there it is. Uh, Envied Barbie. Thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate that. Welcome to the stream. Octodad got into a, a fight with the chef and ended up stripping. Yeah, pretty much. The chef just cleaved all of his fucking clothes in half. been asked to unclog which toilet <laughs> they all clogged they look fine this game looks familiar it's pretty wild pretty wild hydrate you say uh but what with anyone want to uh get involved in in the poll uh exclamation mark poll to uh, help me decide what to drink for the evening, y'all. Holy cannoli, this looks so fun. <laughs> Such a great pops. Uh, yeah, absolutely. It's uh, it's a pretty ridiculous game. Sorry, chat scrolled really fast all of a sudden. Uh, <laughs> yeah, help me help me pick a, a drink for the evening because that's that's always my hardest hardest part of the coming from the break room. Eh, it's stream. Just deciding what to drink. 
sound an alarm. Oh, we need to, like, burn something. Oh, that's awesome. I'm going to put some bananas in a waffle iron. This is great. Uh, <laughs> I played through this with my wife recently. It's a riot. It's pretty It's pretty crazy. Um, and while we're, while we're picking a drink for the evening, why don't I fire off this Stream Raiders battle? Um, we got 24 people up in here. Oh, Barbie, that's where you found the stream. Awesome. Well, welcome. Welcome, welcome. Um, yeah, we got a lot of shit to decide, uh, between. And just so you know, for the, uh, voting thing to function, uh, use exclamation mark vote, and then a space, and then a number. And any other, uh, like, any other syntax, it just doesn't understand. The bot is pretty, um... Pretty specific about how to tally votes, unfortunately. We got two votes for waifu's choice. I'm gonna put some bananas in a waffle iron. That's how I roll. Here, if you want to actually add it as a quote. Uh... That's, uh... That's a thing, too. First time on Twitch as well. Oh, wow. Oh, that's amazing. Uh, well, welcome to it. That's awesome. Have you been doing the Stream Raiders thing uh, for a while? Or, uh... Like, you started playing Stream Raiders and then that got you into Twitch? Or did you just decide uh, to check out the game while you were here? Just today? Oh, cool. Well, that's awesome. Well, welcome, welcome to both. Um, okay, so this type of battle, the purple area is a defensive zone, meaning if you place... Oh, okay, so only enemy units are on it. So enemy units won't move. Oh, that's that's actually really useful. Okay. Cool. So all the tanks are just going to hang out and stand still. Perfect. You get some rad loot yet, or what? So the the uh, loyalty chests that are the particularly good loot are coming up in another three battles. So that's when I'll I'll dispense all of the uh, the loyalty rewards. You can also claim uh, like normal rewards from other battles. Um, Come on, man. You can do this, Octodad. Oh, this is ridiculous. Joe, let's go in there and make sure he's all right. Uh oh. How do I leave the fucking break room? Do I have to get back into the vent? Oh my god, come on. You can do it, dude. You can do it. Ah. There we go. There we go. Oh my gosh. <laughs> just just type in your Google searches into uh in a chat. Could have been a lot worse. Searching for, you know, big titty anime girls. Um, how do I get to the cafeteria? He makes this huge mess, then splits. Hey, give Joe a break. He's probably had to get home to his wife. Ah, the day is done. Time to head home. Alone. Like always. 
Jesus, that's sad. I guess I'll have another TV dinner. Ooh. Probably fish sticks. Again. You don't have what it takes to fill my shoes. Oh my gosh. I make a pizza. E -Z -Z -A. Kelp, I'm wet. What Kelp, are you I'm doing? wet. Do I have to come down there and show you how it's done? Oh my god, there's too many puns in this game. This kind of game reminds me of um The Deep Sea exhibit gives me like uh, uh goat simulator. That kind of thing. I wish the Amazon Arcade was more educational. Well, I wish I didn't have to answer. How do fish breathe a million times a day? <laughs> How do fish breathe? Okay. I'm going to bring these up with you. That new cafeteria chef was screaming at everyone to leave. He is a strange, strange man. Yes. Have you ever tried asking him a pint? You're so clumsy. Do you have butterfish fingers? That guy really fingers. I see, I see. So we're supposed to destroy these uh aquarium things. No one wants to Quit seahorsing around down there. Let's see. Oh my god, quit seahorsing around. I went from Xbox still being his old gaming laptop and set up with Discord telling me about this silly fucking Raiders game. And this is all I've done. It's a lot of fun, especially once you start unlocking more um more units and everything. Uh, I run it um, five days a week because um, I, I stream five days a week. I run it anytime I'm streaming. Am I right, Joe? Um. So yeah. What's the matter? Yeah. If, uh, you're looking for someone who runs battles pretty often. Uh, you're set. Just a little messier. I suppose we should wait for the others to move. I sure hope nothing happens to this giant pane of glass. <laughs> I sure hope nothing happens to this giant pane of glass. That's some foreshadowing. That's what they call that. That's it. I'm coming down there. Give me pizza. Drive by hugs. Yo, Stroyer. How's it going, my dude? On the count of three. One. Oh fuck yeah! <laughs> and that's how you get into another room. Battles in a sneaky octodad. I'm set. <laughs> yeah, I think after this we're gonna play Rhyme. Both Octodad and Rhyme are Doesn't games that Lyra uh, bought and gifted me. So. They're chilling, clicking on people's heads. You know how it goes. Barely. Clicking people's heads. How does that well, work? Then we're leaving. It's past the kids' bedtimes. You not leaving until you understand. It's an, it's an octopus. It's dad. <laughs> Nobody else knew? <laughs> so silly. I'm not crazy. Awesome. Just because you're right doesn't mean you're She's not so horrified. This explains so much. You have them beguiled, Octopus. See the gun, you set left click to shoot button, Caught and you click you their head. Oh, I get it. You're playing shooters. I get it. I'm not familiar with the term. Oh shit. Grab the fish light. How does it feel to see your light going up in flames? Oh my gosh. Oh no. Oh no! Oh my god, this is intense. Help, power, take down. 
Holy shit. My son's a badass. Ninja Warrior Octopus Edition? Yeah, pretty much. Thank goodness. We've got to help the kids. More like kelp the kids, am I right? Le mayo. Hurry, honey. I'll give you a boost. <laughs> Amazing. Oh, no! Oh, thank God. It just throws me back up. Oh, my God. Step lightly, Octopus. It will not matter. You will fail! Dude, this is so fucking hard to control. Epic the music is. This is so ridiculous. No, 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 no. Fuck. Oh my god, dude. You, when you step, your momentum carries you. And so if you're just barely on a ledge, like that, that momentum makes you fall off all the time. Be careful, Dad. Don't fall. Oh, 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 oh. Come on, come on. Oh, fuck yeah. Christ, this is crazy. Okay, there we go. Fucking final boss time here. This level's wild. Yeah, this is such fucking Ninja Warrior shit. Hurry up or I'll toast like a marshmallow. Hurry up or I'll toast like a marshmallow. No! Oh! Oh, it threw me back here. Oh, that's awesome. I thought I was going to have to start at the start again. Holy Christ. Dude, stop falling there. What the fuck? Looks like he's an alcoholic Octodad. Yeah, he has a lot of difficulty uh, with, you know, walking, standing. All right, I got you, honey. To hell. Plug three fish spouts. What the fuck do those words even mean in that order? Take this. Shove it into those fish's mouths. Oh, I get it. Great. Oh, I caught it midair. Oh, is this what, what I play it with? Doing, oh my god! No, dude! Oh, I tried to sneak through and it, it fucked me. I just want revenge! Revenge for past crap! I see you! <laughs> Look over here, Pink! <laughs> this thing is gonna blow! Oh, I see you plug them and then the pressure. Oh my god, this is insane. This game's ridiculous. Take care of the chef. How the fuck does that work? What is happening right now? She's giving him a hug. Burbling with a love of all mankind. You wow. Really forgive me? Even for the war? 
a quick affirmative blub. Your family really loves you, Octopus. I not bother you again. Honey? So, this news will take some getting used to. <laughs> but I was imagining much worse. But next time, tell me ten years earlier. Wait a second. If that is an octopus, then where did me and Stacy come from? <laughs> Seriously. Why why do all of them find that funny? The lead actor is dreamy. Down in front. Wow, this the is insane. With the, flowers in his hand. the book was better. <laughs> well, that that game uh, was really, really ridiculous. Dad romance? What are these? Shorts? Mama had a cow. Daddy was an octodad. Oh, it's like other little... Little one-off adventures? Welcome, sir. What name is your reservation under? I don't see a... On the list. Perhaps I'd see more clearly if I had a little... Bribe. Search jackets for cash. How do I search a jacket? Can I search patrons? No. Ouch. Oh, I see. This is so ridiculous. Yeah, you did miss Octahell. That was a that was a crazy time. I love how salty the food is here. I love how salty the food is here. Oh my god. Move near your chair and use your arms to sit. Your wait there will be with you shortly. Mm, everything looks so good. Check out the menu. Okay, I can do that. Hang on, I'm a strong independent octopus that don't need no man. Coming! Oh, hold on, don't decide yet. I want to try ordering for both of us. Let's see if I've got you figured out yet. <laughs> All right, she thinks she's got me figured out. You'll find out. Good evening. I'll be taking care of you tonight. Are we ready to order? <laughs> yes. I'd like the sirloin, and he'd like the halibut. Excellent choice. Thank you. Act casual. Oh my god. Did I get it? <laughs> See? You're not so mysterious after all. Try drinking some water. All right. Well, well, uh, we're waiting for the wife to uh, finish putting the baby down for El Napo. Uh, I'm gonna have some hey, nice. Uh, we should toast. Passion fruit. <laughs> Lacroix. You know. Clink glasses the, together. Uh, Wish something well. That's the stuff Have that you, you know. Before? <laughs> tastes like it. Uh, Great. Let's toast to us. Passed by a truck that was carrying fruit on the freeway. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> okay. Hurry back. <laughs> this would have been a good Father's Day game. 
Wash up in the bathroom. Oh, that's not the way to the bathroom. Just acting normal, like, uh, you know. Zero percent? Oh, that's the... That's the kitchen. Oh, boy, I really hope I fuck with the chef later. <clears throat> so... Hang on, what's the the poll right now, uh, drink wise? I believe is waifu's choice is winning. So, what uh, what are you thinking, babe? I don't know. If you want something to drink, you should uh, pick something that you would enjoy. And if you don't want anything to drink, then uh, you should. Uh, Something that maybe I'll enjoy. I don't know. Get experimental. How do I wash up here? Oh, there you go. <laughs> that worked. All right. Now head on back. What's the heck, new guy? Go help out in the kitchen while we clean up after you. Get to the kitchen? Well, I think I work here? All right. Apparently, I just do everything that I'm told. This is fucking crazy. Stomp grapes for fresh juice. Oh my god, this is insane. Crush those grapes as you would your sworn enemies! <laughs> Fill jug with juice. How do I? Ow. Oh, do I just keep crushing it, maybe? Right. Okay, now I fill our juice glasses. Mm, Shortcut! Oh, fuck yeah. There you are. Oh, no one's gonna suspect a thing. But isn't that the waiter's job? Am I not sitting? Oh, fuck yeah, perfect. Enjoy. Well, Butter don't just sit there. Let's talk. And eat the bread. Uh, uh. Okay, butter. Still playing the strong silent type, eh? Don't worry, I've got some icebreakers. Like, what's your favorite book? Fucking A. Words. Done. Hey, lover boy. Take care of the other customers before you get your flirt on. Yeah, they all think I work here. Hurry back. Take booth couples order. Oh, I see them. Yes, we'd like to share a pizza. Whoops. You're a little wet behind the ears to be waiting tables, but what the heck? Pepper there. Ballads. If you know what I mean. Did we do the thing? More. Oh, like when you shake it at peppers. Oh, that's good. Thank you. More. A little more. 
insane. How much fucking pepper do you want? Enough. Not bad. Ah. But let's see you serve that fancy cake to the table near the entrance. Mm. Mm. Serve the fancy ah. dessert platter. Mm. Oh my god. Uh oh, uh oh. <laughs> Are these the people waiting for the fancy dessert? Oh no, maybe the people with their hands up? Aha! Oh yeah. So Fucking nailed it. Full of love and hope. Like our marriage used to be. The waiters have purple stains all over their shoes. I should investigate that. <laughs> They've all been stomping grapes. Are you winning? Oh yeah, sweat. We're crushing it. We're crushing it. We beat the main game and then there's these little like side chapters that are kind of fun to do. We're just pretending to be a human here. Nothing unusual about us. Submarine ghosts? Oh, come on. We can grab the appies. Oh, there we go. There we go. <laughs> For some reason, the people who work here are convinced that I'm also an employee. The chef was looking for you. Back to cooking, young apprentice. Okay, get a steak out of the fridge. So we're both on a date and working in a restaurant. As one does. Like a fucking sitcom. Ah, steak. Nope, that's an orange. That's a steak. Tenderize the steak with a mallet. Okay, I guess we'll put the steak just like on the table. Grab that mallet over there. The French charade. If the meat is still moving, it is not tender enough. It's like weekend at Octodad's. But instead of a corpse, it's an octopus. Oops. Cook steak in skillet. <laughs> Toss the pizza dough. Uh oh, there it is. The art of dough tossing requires a surgeon's precision and delicacy. Oh. Uh oh. Where'd my pizza go go? Pizza dough go. Dough go. Uh. Did I fling it into the restaurant? Ah! Found it! Spread sauce on pizza. Oh, everything's normal here. Okay, we're gonna get some sauce on it. So, we'll try and set it the fuck down. Is this the sauce? I imagine so. Sprinkle cheese on it. Is that cheese? Oh yeah, okay. Cook the pizza. Okay, so I'll leave it on the paddle. Wait. There we go. Bang on. This is insane. Hang on. 
I just want to not drop it. Fuck. Okay, maybe, uh... Maybe we just manually cook it? Oh, <laughs> lore. Oh fuck, dude! I almost had it. No. This is fucking wild. Come on! Oh my god! Boom, cooked. All right, load the dishwasher. <laughs> Speaking of pizza, yours is cooking. Nice. Want to not drop it? Drops it. <laughs> You're killing it. I mean, we beat we beat the main game. Now it's just a matter of... Uh, there's like... Some little extras, some side games that seem like they're pretty, pretty legit. <laughs> Worth a try. There we go, there we go. Oh, fuck yeah. Bring the pizza, the pizza couple, okay. It has seen the oven for all of three and a half seconds. Oh yeah, now go back to my date. Oh, you are not the only one with secrets. <laughs> this fucking poster in the seat. <laughs> it's so silly. Oh my god. Okay, so we've got uh we got twenty three people in this battle. Let's fire it off. Dishwash the pizza. <sighs> yeah, that's his that's his seductive pose. That's his uh Come hither pose. Oh. Oh, wow. All these rogues are just destroying the archers. Yeah, rogues are an interesting uh, unit in this game because they're really good at high levels and really bad at low levels. At low levels, they don't do anything. Like, they don't help out, really, at all. They just get killed. But once they hit really high levels, they just, like, one-shot all the really important uh, enemy units that are in the back line. So this battle is a treasure uh, map. Which means that it's got um, better rewards than a lot of others. So, um, yeah. That's something to keep in mind. Um, every one of these treasure chests that is destroyed by one of your units, like if you get the last hit that destroys it, uh, you get a chunk of gold. I think maybe it's 20 gold or something like that. So it's a really good place to farm up some cash. I've been doing some digging in oh yeah. Nevada. It's such a sexy pose, you can't hold it without quivering. Bon it's aliens. <laughs> if you could be any kind of animal. Human? <laughs> That's a silly answer. Well, I'm I'm trying to eat some salad. Oh, maybe I need to use my fork. There we go. Oh, now we're rocking it like a human. <laughs> Winks with both eyes seductively. <laughs> this ain't no planet of no apes. <laughs> How's it going, Rachel? What's shaking? Um, nom 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 nom. All right, kid. Let's see how strong your table clearing game is. I love the idea of both being on a date and being the waiter. So ridiculous. Help, I'm trapped in my chair. Gas. 
Uh, eat your wife's salad. That's what a real daddy does. What a daddy do? I think we're soft locked, honestly. I made you a drink. Praise me. Oh, I literally didn't even notice the drink. It has a fair amount of plant stuff floating in it. And it smells like uh, gin, perhaps? Yeah, honestly, I don't think we can finish this mission. <laughs> we become soft locked. Okay, well. well. There we go. Let's clear some fucking tables. Oh, there's a tie hidden under there. Oh, it's amazing. <laughs> there we go. That's a fucking clear table. You want to see another clear table? Boom! Yeah, yeah, nothing wrong with lavender. Um, there is a lot of it floating in my drink, but, you know. Wow, Jesus. Bon I'm doing good, but have been busy. Don't know if Wire's here, but do thank her for the gifted sub. Uh, yeah, totally. I think she's around. It was a little earlier. Uh, I've been great. I've been doing really well, thank you. Um. Salt my fish. Okay. That fish with knife. Use fork to eat fish. Oh, yeah. Try claiming I'm not a human. Are you kidding me? We'll, we'll get our mouth eventually. Hang on. There we go. That's how you eat. A bottle of gin and a bottle of vodka that I infused with lavender. Nice. That sounds like Sonnet's kind of jam. <laughs> Fucking eat. Are you kidding me? There we go. Back to the kitchen. Whoa, what the fuck? Oh, pfft. The dishwasher is still going? Okay, mop the floor. There's the mop. There's the mop. Found it. There are 37 steps to crafting the perfect cake. I must be... It reminds me of The Sims, how there's like just little patches, like specific. Uh oh. Uh, where's the fucking fire extinguisher? Oh my god. Ding Spanish techno. Oh, 
All right, I'm gonna bring my wife some dessert here. Holy Christ. Uh. <laughs> you spin me right round. Ever done a rum top? So that's my jam. Is that like a chess cop? No. Rum infused with all the fruit. Pretty much as stuff comes out of season, you put it into the rum cop, rum top, and then cover that with rum. It's full, you leave it for an extra week, and then drink slash eat it. Uh, it doesn't really sell it. It doesn't sound pleasant. <gasps> this dessert looks great. Care for a taste? It's pretty good, isn't it? Dad romance. Wow. Took me 20 minutes. But we got there. Um, Tommy, what's this story about? Well, this is a story about Dad. And he's in a wrestling ring. Oh, he's at the hospital. Oh, and he's a nurse. Thanks. Oh, in a bad Why can't he be a doctor? No, he's a nurse and he does nursey things. Fine. So he goes to the nurse station. I wonder where the nurse station is. Apparently not through there. The dessert delivery was pretty smooth. Yeah, I was, I was happy with that. I think it worked out well. Oh, this is the nurse's station. Find the patient records. Nurse Dad had to go help all the patients. And Dad met this one guy who was a jerk. Well, it's about time. My bottom hurts. Adjust my bed, nurse. Uh, adjust the bed. These melon slices aren't just going to jump into my mouth. Feed him melon. Okay. I can do that. Get him a book. Uh, where would I even find a fucking book? Oh. Now feed me four melon. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, huge thank you for the gift subs, Byra. Um... who was sad and weird. It's bad, isn't it? Oh no, oh no, is it Chaz, Luforia, the Macarena? You better check my blood pressure to find out. This is so ridiculous. Ridiculous. Oh, well, that's not so bad. Thanks, nurse. Away. As everyone knows, people afflicted with unicornitis can fly. I still need to find a fucking book. Aha!
Oh yeah, I'm nailing this. Draw some dicks. I literally tried to draw anything. I could not pick and figure it out. Oh, oh my god, I guess I have to change out the IV, huh? Okay, so... Out with the old. Now get in with the new. Here. I'm sick of your face. And Dad met this one lady who was really nice. Good morning, Mr. Nurse. If it's not too much trouble, would you mind fluffing my pillow and turning off the television? This is exactly what hospitals are like. Don't know what you're on about. I agree. I mean, you're not wrong. Fluffer pillow. I could do that. That's why they uh, called me the fluffer in high school. Damn, Wyra. <laughs> would be a shame. It would. Uh, which ones are donuts? I guess the blue one. There we go. There we go. Crushing it. Man, I wish my nurse was this, this professional. Just absolutely crushing life. So much. Uh, never gonna give. Now. Never gonna give. Hey, give you up. Oh, the phone rings. And on the phone, yes, hello, this is Octopus. Long lost brother. Dad, it's your long lost brother. I've got terrible news for you. One of your patients is going into cardiac arrest. Patient alert in room two. Dad, it's your long lost brother. Amazing. Wait, what's cardiac arrest? I don't know. It's one of those hospital y things they say on TV. Raise the side flap. Oh my god, there's too much shit in the way. Boom! Get him to the prep room. Okay. I don't know where that is, but let's go there. Oh, it's probably the room at the end of the hall. But suddenly, Dad faced a most fearsome challenge. Oh. A door! Dun, dun, dun. Squeeze through the door. Good thing there was a crowbar there. To crowbar the door open. Okay, that was, uh... <laughs> it was quite the random little interlude. All right, boom. Okay, wash my hands, no problem, easy. Give him anesthesia, uh, no problem. We'll just jam this cartoon-sized fucking needle into him. Get him on the OR table. Uh, no problem. Is that not the OR table?
There we go. Page Dr. Nigel. You have pressed all the buttons. Please try again. <laughs> Do I have a certain number I'm supposed to hit? Dr. Nigel, Dr. Nigel to the operating room. Oh my god, this is crazy. And then the doctor came in, and he was famous. His name was Nigel. <laughs> okay, let's x-ray this patient. Get him on the bed first. Like so. And then... Get this x-ray machine right over the junk. That's where they're always supposed to x-ray you. Uh, he needs a scalpel. Uh, okay, hang on. We can find one of those. Bone saw. Where does Dad find a bone saw? I don't know, in a box somewhere. <laughs> oh my fucking god. There we go. Easy every time. for a week after my last story. Fort Johnson and the zombie hurricane was pretty violent. It was my masterpiece. Oh, so it turned out the man was a robot all along. <laughs> Beep poop, so what is love? Surgery can begin. Nigel's name of the protagonist in Surgeon Simulator. Oh, I didn't know that. the chest cavity. Oh my gosh. Wife Nigel's forehead? heart go. Oh, here it is. Okay. There we go. Right, so this is an obvious nod to uh, Surgeon Simulator. How's Marxicus doing uh, this evening, by the way? You... Ah. How's the... How's the day been so far? Finish your microeconomics quiz? Yeah, those... 
Those multiple choices you've been posting have looked like uh, the Who most ridiculous things. A solid B plus. Oh, those are the hospitality management? Yeah, those are fucking ridiculous. And then dad and the famous doctor high five uh, more than once. safely, but we'll bring him back to his room. Yeah, the one that's like four different questions packed into a single multiple cho but, uh, choice. Uh, I unicornitis from that alien lady. Fucking and the only cure for unicornitis is questionnaire. Jet skis. So he bought us some sweet jet skis! The end. Surgeon Simulator board game. Alright, well those were the shorts. Um, yeah. That game was a trip. That was, uh... <laughs> that was really silly. That was a good three hours. It was a fun time. Um, we could start Rhyme now. Which we'll be finishing on, uh, like, next week. What do you guys think? Yo! Beow, 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 beow. Oh, Raid Shadow Legends. Skella Raid, what's shaking? Yo ho! Ranza, what's happening? What is going on? Uh, we just finished playing, uh, Octodad. And now, uh, I'm thinking we play some Rhyme. 